for my roast lamb, I just cut up a couple of onions and I'll put them in the bottom of my roasting pan. I peeled and cut potatoes and put them in some salt water for later. And I peeled a whole um, clove, not clove, bulb of garlic and slivered it because I'm going to stab that inside of my lamb. And here is my lamb, fresh lamb. Um, it was three ninety seven a pound, which is eight seventy five a kilogram. I paid twenty dollars for this thing, so it's not quite a frugal meal. But we're doing this for Easter um, for my family of four, and hopefully there's lots less left over so that I can make other meals with the lamb and then do something with the bone, maybe a lamb stock or soup or something. I'll have to do some googling on Pinterest. So I just have onions in the pan and I'm going to open this up and put that in there. Then there's the lamb. Now I stab and I put garlic in the lamb. Also have some rosemary. Put that in there too. I do this with my roast beef. I stab my roast and put garlic in it because we really like garlic. And so I'm doing that with my lamb. If you want lots of garlic, you could do a whole clove stabbed in the hole. I'm doing slices. Um, a little bit bigger. There. And then I'm going to do um, crush some of the garlic and the rosemary and put it all around. So there's the oven uh, preheated. continue that. And there's the other side stabbed every so often with garlic and rosemary. So in my little mortar pestle, I got this from the dollar store for like three dollars. It's uh, marble. I just put some dried rosemary in here and some garlic, salt, pepper. I'm just crushing that down to make Good rub. I could put in my food processor, but that involved getting something else to be basically clean. I put lots of salt and pepper in here to get that in here. And then uh, instead of using fresh lemons, I'm going to use some um, true la lemon. So, so there's three packets, so about three wedges of lemon. And true lemon is just dehydrated lemon. Um, just putting that in there to be mixed. So I rub this all in the uh, um, lamb. And so slow cook for a couple of hours. It's all kind of mixed together. on the bottom side first so I can get that all in there and stab. And then turn it around. So here's the roast out of the oven after about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna flip it around so I can get the other side done. That for 10 minutes. Actually, I probably do about 15. 
and then I'll flip it back over and then turn down the heat. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of, of the olive oil on this side too, so it gets nice and brown. There we go. So there's the bottom of the lamb. Now we're gonna flip it. Over. See, most of the liquid in the pan has gone now. I'm gonna make sure I add some water. There we go. Now I'm just gonna cover up these onions. And then I'm putting this in the oven at 350. I mean 300. I see the uh, the garlic is already popping through. And there I'm putting that in the oven for a couple of hours at 300. So here's the lamb after um, an hour and a half. It's like pretty much done. I'm just gonna flip it around so it gets nice and mm, yum brown on the other side. And I'm going to take some of the juices out for the potatoes. So now I'm just taking some juices out, putting them in a lasagna pan to roast the potatoes in, get them nice and crispy. But also having the, uh, the juices of the lamb with it. So I'm going to put this in, back in the oven. I'm going to put the potatoes in there. And there's the potatoes with the juices. Put that in the oven. So there's everything in the oven. And here is the beautiful roast lamb. Things are just going to be falling off here. Just see how nice this is. I'm going to cut it. You can see right there the garlic and cloves that were inside flavoring this meat, which is just to die for smelling. Having this couple cans of corn, mint jelly, of course. There's the corn out of the microwave. And the oh, heat hot. The roasted potatoes with the juices from the oven. Doesn't that look yummy? There we go, and that's supper tonight with some mint jelly. And here is the dessert, which is bunny butt cupcakes. All it is is a chocolate cake mix and white icing that I got both on sale for about a dollar, and coconut and marshmallows cut in half, dipped into icing, and then the coconut to make the little tails. There we go.